The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Bitterness is seed of resentment in the hearts of men. Seed of resentment in the heart. Seed of resentment lodging in the heart. Bitterness is seed of anger in the heart. Now, what we are talking about resentment, we are talking about the feeling of displeasure at some act, some remark, at some person regarded as causing injury or insult so this bitterness is a feeling a feeling of displeasure at someone's act a person's remark or against a person as regarded as causing injury or insult so in, in discussing bitterness there is always the offender the offense <laughs> yeah and so there are so many things in it and you see this the one who is bitter has a strong displeasure of at something considered as unjust ah no attention or offensive insulting or base and i the reason why people who are bitter will always hold on to their feeling is that they consider that someone has offended them See, bitter people dis describe this feeling of displeasure as righteous anger. See, the reason why they describe the feeling as righteous anger is that they, they think that they have been treated unjustly from their own judgment and perspective. So they hold on to it until they are destroyed. Let me go back to that again. Because bitterness has to do with offense. Because of a remark or an action, when that this, that feeling of displeasure gets into the person's spirit, this fellow who considers that he has not been treated well holds on to the anger, holds on to the displeasure because in and of himself he feels justified to hold on to it. And they say that this is righteous anger. See, the human being is a complex being. The human being is a triune being. Created after the image of God. The human being is a spirit. 
that has a soul and lives in a body. What we always see on the outside is the body. But the real human being is on the inside. The, the spirit and the soul, which is unseen, is sometimes described as the heart. The hidden man. The inner man. So when we are talking about the heart, we are referring to the soul and the spirit. Which is the hidden man. The man unseen. So what we always see on the outside. That which we always dress. The body. Not the real man. If you like the outer man. But you see the inner man, the soul and the spirit, they are the shakers and the movers of the human being. You yeah, the heart is the shaker and yeah. the mood. See, you are a good person or a bad a bad one depending on the state of your heart. You cannot read a person's face and this man is a good man. You'll be, you'll be making a mistake. A good man or a bad man is dependent on the state of his heart. The state of the inner man. You see, the human being is self-aware. He is able to stand aside his action. The human being is self-aware. He is able to stand aside his actions. So, this is a human being. Like Judas. He is self-aware. He knows what he was going to do in the Gethsemane. He went with a kiss. You see that the mouth is doing this. But the inner man is not contributing. The real man is standing aside the actions. That is how dangerous the human being is. That is why you don't have to trust a human being. Me, I don't trust you. Me, I don't even trust myself. How much more can I trust you? Human beings, you need to monitor and, and, and you don't have to just be gullible at all that they are saying. I've even observed that most often than not, people will come giving you advice, but behind the advice, they have some interest in it. So don't look at the beautiful face. Oh, it's okay. He, she could be a good wife. You don't marry face. You marry the spirit and the soul. And mention a nimna and cassa wed yet, the nims at yet, and you obey all your pa, so are nada. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> you see, <laughs> time when we go to church, and then if let's pray that a strong wind will just enter the church, you see the rear hair of the woman, you'll be shocked. <laughs> Jesus knew this very well. That is why on the sermon on the mount, he said, Blessed are the pure in heart. You see, when we are even worshipping, 
He says that these people are worshipping with, with, with their lips, but their heart is far away. He's always paying attention to the inner man, the state of the inner man. Sorry, Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Sometimes you can see a fellow worshipping intensely. The way his face is looking and how he's being so religious. You may think that this one is a candidate for heaven. But brothers and sisters, you go and ask God. Matthew chapter 12. From verse 33 to 35. Matthew chapter 12. From verse 33. Make a tree good. And its fruit, fruits will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruit. Yes. You brood of vipers, how can you, who are evil, say anything good? How can you? who are evil say anything good so once the tree is not good you don't expect to say anything good for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of Sometimes people will say certain things say that I don't I, I didn't mean it. Yeah. But how can you say that which is is which is good when your heart is full of evil? How can you who are evil say anything good? Because when the evil is in your heart, you don't expect good to come out of your mouth how can you simply means by what method in what way how can you possibly do that let's listen to the big one 35 a good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him a good man brings out good things out of the good stored up in him and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him how many of us have stored evil in us see there is no one but is this scripture false but what this means is this as we travel on the road of life consciously or unconsciously we are gathering things into our hearts it may be good or evil but we are gathering we pick some from our parents we pick some from our friends that is what the bible says evil communication will corrupt up good morals as you are engaged in evil communication you are picking something into your spirit we gather some from school some from our teachers some from what we learn we get some from our reading we, we, we always we are gathering we are always gathering um 
some years back i was on leave and i was in this pastor's house and he told me a story and then he felt that because of that we needed to help a certain woman who was going to be a pastor's wife and his worry the pastor's worry is that this woman is so hot tempered and that he feels that the young man is a good material but the wife's anger sometimes very dangerous and that is why we are going so this pastor and the wife have they have also come to visit him this uh, uh, him so they were in the mission house uh, because they were in his former station they were just coming to bid him farewell so that they can go to the Bible school. And this pastor actually expressed his fear, uh, he decided that I should help him so that when he comes back in the evening, we will sit this woman down and kind of advise her. And he left the office. And I was at home in the mission so when i came out i saw that the children in the house it was vacation they were sitting at the living room watching television but the channel that they were viewing was not the channel i needed so i quickly went to the corridor and i realized that uh, the elder uh, the uh, the elderly in the house they are also watching that television and so traditionally i needed to come to the children and plead that they should let me just tune uh, this thing to a different channel just three minutes here and then you it won't be long and then they will they will, uh, they will have their channel back and so i pleaded with them and all of them so oh it's okay that Derek is okay and so they started leaving the place but there was this girl who was lying on the floor she wouldn't want to leave and so the children were trying to force her to leave she lifted herself and she stood on her knees she lifted her eyes and looked at me nobody has looked at me in that manner and so when I saw her face I was afraid so I just said oh okay no problem you, you carry on I'll, I'll come back after an hour because every hour the CNN will give some news so after an hour and, but the children in the house will force this one to go I said, you see, So they decided to drag her. Whilst they were pulling her. They're looking at you. This just did this to me. I was afraid. <laughs> See, normally when you are a pastor, 
people will not do that to you directly but you see and so the lady that we are going to talk to that is the daughter if this is the child so we and the banner let's imagine the case that we have in hand wow Uh, where did this girl get all this kind of evolve from now you so know we are we, we we don't grow we don't we are not we don't come onto the planet church with all this anger in us where is she getting them from i'll suggest to you well, much the much I'll say that at least from the mother. He be an be free. Ne ma meho. The mother's actions and inaction. Ne ma me na di e ene di we e ba. This girl is gathering them into the heart. Abu abu ni na nu ona kume. Unconsciously. Na ne ni 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 husumpo do. Unconsciously. Ne ni e ni ni husumpo. These are habits. We e ye subaya. He's picking them from the mother. Wase sa ana watasi e fini ma. Habits comes out of continuous action. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. Proverbs 4, verse 20, 21. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Death, my son, pay attention to what you say. Turn your ears to my words. Pay attention to what I say and turn your ears to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. Now, pay attention to what I say. Give ear to my words. Don't let them leave your sight. Keep them within your hands. What is this man trying to say? So he's just trying to tell us that it is about what we give attention to. What, what will fill our heart is what we focus on. What will fill our heart is what we give our ear to. Do not let them out of your sight. What we behold is what will fill our heart. Now, verse 23. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows out of it so all our senses are gaze to the heart all our senses draw things into the heart and that is why the bible says guard this heart so all our senses draw things into the heart especially the eye gate it and the, gate. the ear gate so any they draw things into the heart so guard the heart because out of the heart comes all issues of life you need to be careful of the inner man we are gathering so be careful when you see one two people standing somewhere discussing about an elderly person just guard your heart. Don't just go and join them. Talking. 
na munko so anka sa opening the door of your heart to evil u bie wa kuma pono no e di amane bone soon you become like them and che no why say omo guard your heart wa kuma ho ban sie out of it comes all issues of life emu ene nkwa e di fre nyina e let the da the pure in heart ya ne won wa kuma mutie for they shall see god won wo be ho nyankopon matthew 15:18 and 19 e hwe matthew asempa no etidunum enyimu dun otwe ani dun kro matthew 15:18 and 19 but the things that come out of a person's mouth come from his heart and these defile them now the if you and no more every idea no yes if you only pack me now i know and you go nipa move for out of their heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false testimony slander all this he says that is coming out of the heart now come on you and uh again bonnie and with this sam i if i sam a gaman sam a we for sam a dance you crew move any abuse sam so we need to guard the heart it is a say a book a command who buy especially it is really because of this malady of the heart called bitterness a son in your fuck me one a friend you would be it is a malady of the heart it is a disease that the heart contracts sometimes you take it to the hospital they will have no idea as to how to cure it hebrews chapter 12 verse 15 now let's start from 14 14 is much more popular uh, than 15 make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy without holiness no one will see the lord yeah she he before oma no eti dumye no enyi mu dunay chosem no se he before oma eti dumye no enyi mu dunay no se muni nipa nyina ntem enni no asomdue ne ahotie a obi ahotie a obi kwete a I saw so he's now going to still talk about this verse. But then he moves to verse 15. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God, and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many. Now, now see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many you see see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble it is going to grow not on the physical body it is it grows bitter roots this bitter roots grows within the heart now you know Hebrews 13 verse 12 Hebrews 13 verse 12 Yes See to it brothers and sisters That none of you has a sinful unbelieving heart That turns away from the living God Hebrews 13 verse 12 Hebrews 3 verse 12. So let's go back to Hebrews 12 15 see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defy many 
Tu as dit que 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 tu so it causes trouble to the carrier and it will defile many see this bitterness we are talking about it's like a viral disease it is acquired and it destroys the carrier and it defiles many it has spreading effects it is infectious see if you like go and befriend this woman who recently divorced the husband I'll give you two years I'll give you two years. In film, you know, pet, you'll be confused. Yeah. Why do you know about your kids? She starts talking about marriage and her husbands and how she free she has become. You'll be confused. So shall yes, sir, or Kasafa a crunum and they send your fibro jan you couldn't where's the yan the fan who dear Anjana be about him. Bitterness is like a viral disease, like COVID. It destroys the bearer, the one who carries it. And it will destroy many else. Because he goes out as a carrier. As a carrier of, of bitterness. It is destroying her. But as she moves around, now she spreads it. Now, or the sign of a Let's say somebody is so bitter against this presiding elder. Well, if you be an obia, the presiding elder, and we and he and I say, Yaudi be one in Mutiano, then she goes to church. Now, okay, sorry. Let me say, he goes to church. Another elder is not is not too free with the presiding elder. He's a bit bitter about the presiding elder. They go to church, and this elder did not come to church. So, right after church, this elder who has some feeling about the presiding elder that is evil goes to visit the one who didn't come to church. He goes there and he says, Oh, praise the Lord, I came to visit. Uh, he didn't you come to church, Elder? Oh, no, I saw Penina. I didn't He says, This morning I was not feeling well at all. This other elder will say that it's even good that you didn't come to church. Today, insults, insults. The way the presiding elder insulted us. presiding elder no Before he leaves this elder, he has infected this elder with bitterness. And if God does not allow angels to cause this man to go home, by the time he goes round all the members, he has affected them all with COVID, <laughs> COVID bitterness. So they are very dangerous unfortunately sometimes we spare them in the church we don't discipline them because people think that this is not evil they think that they, you should fornicate then they know that you have committed the greatest sin they believe such people and they destroy the church they destroy the church more than bitterness it will cause trouble to the carrier 
how the osono and then he will also defile many na enu akire no e be say afofro so defile many so bitterness has devastating effects and the yawdie wo wo e say ade bitterness destroys yawdie e dey dey say here neba i want to quickly look at some how bitterness destroyed bitterness we have said will destroy the individual it doesn't matter how justified you think it may be a righteous anger but you see you once there is seed of resentment in you you are sure that you are going to be destroyed by that seed bitterness destroys relationships it destroys families it destroys marriages see in marriage there could be a standoff now the standoff between the man and the woman for about two weeks they are not talking to each other they will go to church they will close from church and then they will continue they will meet each other and nobody will say praise the Lord no. when the man leaves you just leave a note that I'm gone if he has to leave some money then you just put it somewhere hoping that the lady will see it the woman also goes he, he sees the money he picks it but he will not even tell the man that i've seen the money this is what is going on in most christian homes yeah, for two weeks three weeks this thing can continue and then sometimes when a visitor comes to the house it helps a bit because they will be forced to say oh hallelujah they will be talking and all that but when the visitor leaves then they continue because they know that you you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about so bitterness can cause divorce bitterness can destroy friendship bitterness destroy churches bitterness destroys nations it destroys nations there is no government that can rule effectively when there is bitterness among his ranks how will i know that i'm bitter how will i know that i'm suffering from bitterness i'll give you one or two and then i'll continue next week if god grants the grace anger 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 at someone's action and then holding on to the anger now ukura you are bitter when you wake up in the morning with your wife and all that you do is to talk about this man who hurt you it means that you are bitter at that man if that is your morning cup of tea then you are in trouble trouble and the two of them will discuss and justify themselves thinking that this man has hurt us but if you don't want anybody to hurt you the earth is not a good place for you you don't want anybody to hurt you the earth is not a good place and you and the people and this one has done this this one has that don't mind them you let them go and live on the moon as for this world we are someone who hurt you so if you have to carry all this and put in your heart and justify yourself you die before your time. 
when you are now we will move hatred for time unforgiveness i'm and i'll take this one and then i'll put a comma in the way people keep records of evil i was asked to go and arbitrate between these two pastors i thought that the matter was yes going to be easy i was going to advise them pray for them i tell them my friend why are you doing this then i just pray for them and they will move yeah my area head has sent me to actually talk to them and so we gathered the, the three of us and then i asked uh, one of them as to what the issue is. Engineer Nipa Basani, you call you do on your busa. Do you kind of say ah, they are some nasty. Then he reached to his bag and then he he, he brought out a notebook. And ah, about what they are then in such a share in the bag, you and we you who make a see be a P. Then he said number one. And ah. <laughs> or can't say uh, so when I saw the book and I had number one I knew I was in trouble because issues like that one person you can't handle it. bitter people they keep records of evil you do something against this fellow and the person recourses it. So once he said number one, I knew that it was so bitter. That he was so bitter. But he needed time to deal with the matter. When we were growing up as teens, we had this choir in our local assembly. We were all good friends. But somehow something happened. This lady was not actually coming to church because of what happened. But she was my neighbor. So the presiding elder asked me to go and actually find out why she's not coming to church because we went to church one Sunday and she was not there. So I went to her house. And I went straight to her room. Then I saw her in the room. I said, Eric, what are you doing here? No, say, oh, Eric, go out, go out, go out. Pie, 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 pie. Yes, uh, what is this? Let me say, hey, Why are you sucking me? I don't know, Pam. So the presiding had asked me to come to you. The presiding had said, "Mr. Mesha, find out whether you are okay." Mr. Mesha said, "It is saying." Go and tell the presiding had that I'm not dead. So, go go catch the presiding had and say, "Me wui." Oh, why? Hey, I don't. Then I decided to sit down. I'm here, my brain said, "Where the edge is sitting?" So I sat. Give me trans. On one of the chairs there. Hey, when Kunyane Ogo ni biso. That's Barry. What? What, what what is wrong with you? No, sir, Barrick. I didn't answer. He actually dragged me. Yeah, but what did he actually me? But when I was going to out, me be no. Then I saw these dates on her wall. And now what? Just a one room, small room like that. I don't get to know. But me be no. Me who say what church church dates be a what a buy no. Why do you write? And write dates on your wall. Now make a change. Say, ah, I didn't know what you are saying. Create dates in your idea. I will buy one. Then she pulled me in again. And I signed me bear with you. You seen this date? So when was that date we? And she tell me about the story. No, I tell me we. I feel a pain. There are some of the dates that has asterisks against it. Yeah, date now. I try to enable a while. I said that in science and science. Some of them had three asterisks. The bins were once in science. No, they are mean. And the one that had three. Was the matter that I knew? Serious matter. Now listen. If you have all this on your wall, so when you how can you sleep? That is why bitter people they have sleepless nights. They are, they are sick of insomnia. <laughs> Because any time that this lady wakes up to even go and pass water and she sees this these dates. Those things will 
come back san says an ajude so mkro sorry no okogun so a ohun sa na e watwe twere nyina na desire odie ni nyina san ba biu blessed are the pure in heart dan ni won wakuma muti e she shall see god won wo be hu nyankop eventually she left the church he biti atwe ma ni so fia sorry ni after a while we just couldn't trace her and che na fe ye hunu biu kura we couldn't trace her ye hunu biu but it began like this and so saying e shall see you those days when we get close from church abren say pon wa sorry you be the first person to live otherwise we were always chatting here and there and then we knew that something was going on until i went to the house and i saw that she was keeping records of evil don't keep records of evil blessed are the pure in her don't allow bitterness to kill you and to destroy many and to destroy many you see let me just say this and then we'll close mm. when you hear any person among who is a member of a group and he is fighting the group that person is bitter so let's say a member of the church of pentecost sorry and then the person says you you pentecost people once you hear these words come out of a person's mouth arrest the person the person is sick we have to take him to pentecost hospital for proper examination what you are a member of the church why do you say you pentecost people something has happened it is is disturbing the spirit what is any panel air casasa if i saw you know what team be pen who pet for ambulance me and fanon call i have a it's answer sunny panel why are it as i said pentecost nyan coupon a sunny area yeah it's true <laughs> if you are not calling the heads then call ambulance because sometimes they are even dead already chances and you panel you can with that uh i don't know and the main name maybe i see it then and all these things make the world some people are full of pride depending on what you must watch you just touch them and then do let the whole world hear. They are bitter and they are just they are justifying it. Let the whole world hear. They are bitter and they are just they are justifying it. Instead of reflecting and changing. Sometimes the thing that they are even thinking of, the other person who is supposed to be the offender has no idea. Let the whole world hear. They are bitter and they are just they are justifying it. Let the whole this is many years ago. Yeah, in fear, be brave. We went to church. Yeah, quite sorry. We were all dancing. We were jumping as young people. And then this lady stepped on my toes because she just jumped and then on my toes. And the toe was spinning me. Oh, he he, in and moki, me na so kim. And I decided to go and then <laughs> sit somewhere. And then when the presiding elder said we should just sit down, when she was passing by me, she she also waved me. So I got very angry. <laughs> so you have stepped on my my toe and you are still waving me. And what you are meaning so? And I was saying, I am bye bye, Esther me. That was a, a, about a Friday. I know no if you are there. A Sunday I didn't go to church. Well, because of that. Tim was paining me. Yami yeah, so yeah, How can ah, she do that? Abaye, I didn't know, yes, sir. Then hmm. after church, I saw these church members coming to me. When they got to my house. Oh, uh, they wanted to find out why I, I didn't come to you. So the leader of the team, we are all friends. The leader of the team asked this question, and then when I said, "Oh, there's nothing wrong," uh, she he just said, "Okay, then we we'll see you this evening." Because those days we used to go for Sunday evening service. But this girl was part of the team that came to visit and so when the leader said it does okay then it doesn't matter we will see you in the evening then the lady said hey brerick 
And to bra, eh, can you phone a car? Say, oh, eh, you be here and you know, and no ban a car. Say, hey, bra, Eric, be careful of these members. Ura, Eric, she are sorry, may ye power, she are on. Don't let anybody disturb you. Me will be a entity. I know that some of the members are not good. Me did say ni pe ni bi onye ni papa papa. But you, we are all looking up to you. And so would you we ni papa ye nyina ye hwe wasu ya o. Don't let them destroy your good heart. Me ma wo mu bi an say wa kuma pa no. Us looking at her. Na me hwe ni din. But as she continue to speak. Na o kasa no. Strength was leaving. Na ma ho din so cry shine. I was confused. And then she finished admonishing me. And then the leader said, One of you should pray. And now Guess who prayed? The same sister. Praying for me. And nobody should disturb me in this church. <laughs> because I just opened my eyes. <laughs> I realized that she doesn't have any idea. She didn't even feel she stepped on my toe. She prayed a good prayer. And today, look at me. It is a prayer that has brought me this. The bitterness. bitterness. Blessed are the pure in her. We'll continue next week. Shall we rise in prayer?